Hello everybody, my name is a friend and do you remember OS Buddy? Because for the past week on Reddit it's been talked quite a bit, so it kinda seems like it's gaining its popularity a little bit back, but the numbers don't really show it because currently on Runelite there is 75,000 people playing and only 11,000 on OS Buddy. The reason why everyone's talking about it is because of the plugins that they have recently released, which is I think the first ones were released uh, a week ago. They call it enhanced plugins. A lot of people have been saying that it's kind of cheat-like plugins because, well, I'm going to show you them right now. Let's just quickly show all of them and then I'm going to tell you what's the big deal about it. Now, this one I thought is going to be the most overpowered plugin of all. Once I heard about it, that on OS Buddy, you don't have to use bones on the altar anymore. There is literally like consume bones as the first option on the altar so i was like what you tell me you can just click on the altar and it will use bones for you but my initial thought i didn't even think about it i thought it's gonna be like the faster you click the the more bones you're gonna use well at least one bone per one game tick which is not the case now you can see the clicks that i do i actually try to click as fast as possible on the altar but it just doesn't allow you it has the cooldown. i think you can use them every like two game ticks or something but it also doesn't seem to be too consistent like if you look at the xp rates how they're coming out they don't come out like consistently there's sometimes a bigger pause even though i'm like spam clicking that thing but it is still faster than just waiting for them to be used automatically so i guess now we have like three options you either completely afk for like kind of low xp rates or do you manually click on the altar for medium xp rates or do you still use the old way with rune light or os buddy or whatever so the first one is enhanced blackjacking which literally just allows you to just constantly click on the guy and you will it will swap the options for you so the first one will always be knock out and then the next one will always be pickpocket so you don't have to like right click every time you want to pickpocket like people usually do and this is when a lot of people used auto hotkeys too. And it kind of glitches out sometimes though. I don't know if it's because of blackjacking or because you knock them out like too fast. Sometimes they go to sleep, but they don't actually sleep. And this is what a problem comes in. You can get really the maximum experience an hour, it seems, if you just click all the time. Sometimes it will stand and it will say that it's sleeping. Like this is the, the thing that it's... And it actually is technically sleeping. So you can right click on it and pick pocket and get the full experience however OS buddy can tell that they think that you still need to knock him out so it just doesn't work sometimes and initially I thought it's gonna be like add down knights and it's gonna be like much easier because you know add down knights you can just load them and you can just spam pickpocket like afk the whole time so I thought it's gonna be the same in here there's like so many villagers as well now another one is construction and all it does just like you guessed probably it replaces the option so you have to only click once you don't have to right click on the table if you want to remove it and you don't have to right click if you want to build it and I feel like this should have been since the very beginning of the game like I, I know it sounds very overpowered but what is this thing where you are in the building mode you obviously gonna build but you have to right click every time now because it wasn't since the beginning of the game now it seems very very overpowered and without even trying I was getting eight hundred thousand xp an hour i just had to google this one too because i didn't know the redwood logs xp rates in fire making because i just don't use something like this and it says they are over 600 fire making xp per hour and less than one gp per xp why do people still do winter thought past 90 fire making and this is the top comment because clicking 10,000 tinderbox on log is bad well with the enhanced fire making you don't have to do that anymore you still need a tinder box in your inventory but now there is an option to just light the logs just like that this is like another thing that should have been in the game since the very beginning because i i'm very sure that most people just hate clicking those tinder boxes so i would say this is also like quality of life this is really good however this is where the bad thing comes in because auto hotkeys were banned for this exact reason this is exactly why people are talking about these new plugins on reddit because why are auto hotkeys banned where you click do, to do one action but it does two or three actions for you because in here you should be using tinder box which is one action and use it on the log which is the second 
second action, but OS Buddy just bypasses that completely, and it's like, oh yeah, you can just do that. Same with construction. Same with actually the prayer isn't like three actions by clicking one time because you have to right click the bone technically if you're not using any clients. So I guess even Runelight uses one to two in that case. And by the way, I am not sponsored by OS Buddy or anything. I am just giving information. That's all. And this is surprisingly available for free. You don't have to pay for these plugins at all. However, I don't encourage anybody to use them because, hey, it's not my fault. If you get banned, it's, I don't know, it's kind of sketched. Like I said, it's not supposed to be like this. But because of all this OS Buddy talk for the past week, no JMods have been responding on this at all for the whole week. Like some threads would go to like 5,000 upvotes, no replies at all. But recently we got a response that on Monday, so that's in two days, they will be discussing third party clients. Oh no, OS Buddy could be taking all the clients with them. But this is not all actually. OS Buddy confirms to adding more OP plugins to the client soon. Now I couldn't really confirm if this is like actually OS Buddy, because uh, this guy, I don't know, I didn't see any association with OS Buddy when I clicked on his Twitter account. But do you, do you see this? One click dots. What? <laughs> uh, please no. Look at this. Do you see how fast he's using? And he's uh, saying, imagine scroll wheel fletching. And he's just literally getting like pet game tick. 1,200 experience. Every single game tick. Oh my god, I really hope this is not not gonna come to OS Buddy. This is just not right. Is You're gonna be literally getting millions exp of experience an hour. It's already like 2 mil XP or something with, by using a tablet. And I was not getting these huge XP rates either. Like, you don't even have to like click or anything. You just can scroll the mouse wheel, which some of the mouses or some of the mice have the button that will release it and make it very loose. So you can just, mm, and it goes for like 15 seconds. So you do nothing for 15 seconds. And you probably, dude, what? You probably gain like 50k XP during like one mouse wheel or something. I mean, look at the XP rates. That's like, wait, actually, let's see at the time. So he starts at three seconds and it's gonna, so five seconds in total. And he fletched all 500. And look at all the XP that he got. It's like seven, 8K experience or something in five seconds. Okay, let's see this one. One click Heriptar OS Buddy are adding. I checked this out already. This is literally what I would use. Basically, it's those uh, no life methods that people are using by just using the Guam on the tar and like not completing the action and like resetting the action so you can mine things faster well normally it includes a lot of clicking like you have to do really a lot you just click on on the head then on the tar and then you just click on the rock something like that well this one just completely eliminates that you just click on the head and you just keep doing that i think this is what regular people would be more happy that they could do something like this while all the people who are using it normally they probably will be mad all those Sweaty nerd. Yeah, so the main issue is that Auto Hotkey got banned for exactly the same things, while OS Buddy seems to get a free pass. And there's actually some uh, tweets that the developer of OS Buddy made. He says, We know what we are doing. It is simple to make plugins that don't get you banned. Now, this is instantly a sketch line right there because uh, one of the developers actually made or really participated in development of the anti botting system because he was employee at Jagex. So they literally know how the whole system works, what can get you banned, what can get you banned. And he literally helped massively to develop the anti botting thing at Jagex. And you see, he's asking, do you plan on releasing any more skilling plugins like Herptime? skilling and it says definitely but there is another one and if you look at the very bottom it says he's asking about spells like can you auto select a spell to cast and then clicking to cast it but in the way that won't get you banned and matthew says it isn't the same doing spells will be much more tricky but it can be done in a way that doesn't trigger bans. And again, that line, it's like, yeah, well, maybe it's a gray area. Yeah, probably we shouldn't be doing that because literally that's why auto hotkeys got banned, but hey, it won't trigger any bans. <laughs> I don't know, just definitely something sketchy when you click one button and you have already spell selected. Sounds convenient though. Sounds something that should have been done again in the game.
But why ban out a hotkey? Anyway, that's enough talk for me. Thank you for watching and uh, thank you. Bye.